here's one you don't hear very often. The state made a miscalculation that saved taxpayers millions of dollars. It was a year ago today that the process of moving thousands of state workers out of privately owned buildings and into state owned offices started. And Pat Bailey explains just how that decision saved even more than officials thought it would. Hundreds of parking spaces are empty here at the Stuyvesant Plaza office building. Like other state agencies in other parts of the capital region, the Department of Criminal Justice Services left this privately owned office building for office space the state owns. This Alfred E. Smith building is just one example of savings. The Office of General Services says the state saved $2 million by moving the Department of Criminal Justice here from the Stuyvesant Plaza. OGS records show that's just a portion of the savings. According to the office, the restacking process was scheduled to save taxpayers over $18 million this year. However, the state miscalculated, but in your favor. The state budget office shows an actual savings of $21.5 million from restacking. In the beginning, I was a little apprehensive because of the parking. wasn't sure where I'd go, but once I got comfortable with it, it was fine. Cindy O'Brien works for the Liquor Authority. Her office was restacked back in 2006. She said the move was a bit hectic, but she and most of her office enjoys the new space. The As a taxpayer, yes, I, I would agree with the move. I just, uh, with so many people coming to the downtown Albany area, it's a little harder with parking and traffic because it's so so congested but it does with everybody moving down here it does help the local economy it just pulls from the economy that they've moved from business owners in the plaza say that is true anybody here is always better than a vacant office building i mean you'd rather people be around on a weekday basis certainly monday through friday than a vacant building never has you know any increased foot traffic traffic is always good foot traffic but while these offices sit empty the state coffers get a bit more full in albany pat bailey cbs 6 news